Hey guys, welcome back to HLC. Today, we're focusing on springs. Have you ever wondered what makes your bed so comfy or your watch so reliable? If you're a keen observer, you'll notice the springs are everywhere. In this video, we will spotlight the most three common types of springs and its detail classification. Some of these you might not even realize there. All springs must follow Hooke's law within the elastic limit. They deflect or compress under load and return to their original shape when unloaded. They're pulling, pushing, winding, supporting, and even helping you tone your biceps. Ever used a pen? A satisfying click. That snap is thanks to a helical spring. It is made by winding a metal wire into a spiral shape called a helical or coil spring. It's the most common type of spring you'll encounter, like DNA. Helical springs aren't just a one-size-fits-all deal. They come in a variety of subcategories. Open-coiled helical spring or compression springs. Designed to resist compression, these springs are not wound tightly and have a high pitch. Suppose wants to extend a spring. It is a closed-coiled helical spring or extension springs, which features an eye or a hook at the end for attachment. Springs also love to twist. Torsion springs are designed to resist rotational forces and are attached to two components using two ends. Clothespins are the most understood application. Ever inserted batteries into your TV remote? You've used conical springs, featuring a large outer diameter at the base and a small one at the top. They compress more than helical springs and are used in electrical contacts. Although not an actual spiral, flat springs are often categorized with them made from a strip of metal bent into a spring shape. Volute springs, with their distinctive shape that resembles the shell of a volute or conch. It has two typical types, a V, and the second shape involves two V configurations joined together. The second largest category is the disc spring, also known as Bolville washers. They were named after Julian Bolville, who patented the design in the 19th century. This compact, flat, washer-like spring can exert large compressive forces. Shown in the picture, the standard discs spring the most common type you'll encounter. Next, we have curved disc springs. These springs, designed with a slight curve, it's a good partner for bolts, screws, and other fasteners. The Wave Springs, innovative multiple waves per turn design, can offer the same spring force as a traditional round wire coil spring, but at 50% of its operating height. Lastly, we have slotted disc springs a type of spring with slots cut around the perimeter or in the center. These slots can be straight or curved and are widely applicable to automatic transmissions, clutches, and overload couplings. Feel the bumps on the road? Leaf springs in cars help absorb those impacts. They're made of layers of steel in different sizes, stacked on top of each other, appearing like a bow, capable of withstanding large forces in small areas. According to the number of plates, it can be divided into multi-leaf spring and monoleaf spring. According to the shape of the leaf spring, semi-elliptical leaf spring the most common type of this suspension component. Quarter elliptical leaf spring, what makes them unique is that they're basically half of a semi-elliptical leaf spring. So they're also called a cantilever type of leaf spring. Now, if you combine a semi-elliptical leaf spring with a quarter elliptical one, you get a three-quarter elliptical leaf spring transverse leaf spring it looks a lot like the semi-elliptical leaf spring but there's a twist it's inverted so the longest leaf is at the bottom the only limit springs have is your imagination after realizing common springs let's talk about special springs pneumatic springs also called air springs or gas springs consist of a cylinder filled with compressed air and a piston rod connected to a load lift chairs use gas pressure springs to adjust height Wire form springs, formed by a single metal wire wound into shape. You can bend them into all sorts of shapes, loops, bends, hooks, you name it. Last but not least, we have rubber springs. They have excellent damping abilities and are great at reducing noise and absorbing shocks and vibrations. So there you have it, folks. Next time you enjoy a smooth ride in your car, appreciate the humble spring. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit button, share, and subscribe.